Hi there, I'm Elisa Teague. I am senior producer of role playing games here at Renegade Game Studios. I am in charge of the role playing games department and I oversee all of the new products in that line, including the brand new Power Rangers role playing game, G.I. Joe role playing game, and Transformers role playing game with all of the accessories that are going to be coming along with it, new supplements, and games to follow, including My Little Pony that's coming out next year. I grew up in the 80s, and so G.I. Joe was a huge influence on me, and it is actually one of my very first memories of anything. I think that watching cartoons uh, with my little brother and then getting all of the toys was such a big part of my childhood and of my life before I was ever introduced to, you know, miniatures games or role-playing games or anything like that, our first minis game. We would set up these battles together and play and actually take turns in combat and role-play and we didn't even know we were doing it. So I feel like G.I. Joe, just as a concept, you know, was such a huge part of how I grew up, how I played, how I learned, you know, pretty much everything that I value as, as a real value because of those early cartoons when I was, you know, seven years old. I think that G.I. Joe impacted my life a lot because it not only served as a foundation and bonding time for my family, for, you know, myself and my brother to really learn how to work together as a team, but also when watching the cartoons, you know, they always had all of the, you know, spots at the end where it would teach you something. And I, I know that a lot of people look back on those and laugh at them. I know that there's a whole series of, you know, parodies about them. But for me, at that right target age, it really did teach me so much foundational, you know, just things on how to be a better human, how to work together, how to help others. And it really was such a huge influence on me. Working on it now as an RPG, I can see all of those same values in the teamwork I bring to the table and I will never forget it. When trying to evaluate who to select to write on the team for the G.I. Joe role-playing game, it was really important to me to not only find a wide range of talented writers that I knew had the chops, had done things in the industry before, but also were fans because this is a book that is specifically for fans. It's for new players too, it's for introducing to a new generation, but we wanted to do the brand as much service as possible so that when you are reading this book, you feel like you are in that world. When I chose these writers, I knew that it was in the right hands because every single thing that I thought I knew about G.I. Joe, growing up with it since I was a little kid, they blew me out of the water with their knowledge. And it was so in-depth and, and so intricate, like intricate details you never would even think about that apply to the RPG in ways that I know that will provide a hugely immersive role-playing session for anybody who picks up the book. Diversity and inclusion was a goal in all of the RPGs for the Essence 20 system, but especially for G.I. Joe from the very get-go. We knew that coming into this, not only are there a lot of different races and cultures that are already um, shown in G.I. Joe, but there are also some problematic histories that happened when, you know, something comes from the 1980s. We've grown a lot as a society since then, and Hasbro has been making so many amazing changes to the toy line and to the brand that we wanted to show off all of that diversity and a reframing of a lot of characters that are canon in the system, but also for characters that people at home would want to create on their own. So from the very first steps of character creation, you have such a huge choice of what you can create so that you can make unique characters that feel real, that represent anything that you want to. We have a great team of writers that all work together that represent different areas of diversity and inclusion. And that was very important to me. I didn't want the same, you know, old writers that you see on every single thing working on this. I wanted to make sure that we got perspectives from everybody. 
everyone from the Renegade team down to our freelance writers to our cultural consultant who is amazing, all took every single step of the way this product through the paces to make sure that everyone would feel welcome at the table, which is a huge goal from Renegade. I have a lot of advice for people who want to write for role-playing games or games in general, especially about their favorite IPs. If there's something that you love and you're passionate about and you find out that a company like ours or any other company has that IP, put yourself out there, show off your knowledge, but also make sure that you have enough work in your back catalog to show off what you can do. If you're a brand new writer, that's okay. Show off what you can do by creating adventures for other systems or turning in sample material. There's nothing that is going to stop me from reading anything that somebody sends to me as far as like shooting their shot to try to get into this industry. I know when I first started it out that it was really scary to do, but I'm encouraging everybody out there. You have to start somewhere. And the first place you start is by putting those words down onto the paper. Don't worry if it's good or bad. Just put those words down and start from there. If you want to follow me on the internet, you can do so on Twitter or Instagram at Geeky Pinup or on Facebook at The Elisa T. You can also always send me an email at elisa at renegadegames.com and follow along at all of the Renegade Games channels on Facebook, Discord, and the website for new updates of what's coming soon.